My message to the Chinese government is free Tibet. Tibet belongs to Tibetans. I'm here to add my voice and speak out about what is happening in Tibet. Under the Chinese government's brutal rule, Tibetan people's basic rights and freedoms are non-existent. They are not allowed to study and learn their language and culture freely. They are not allowed to travel freely. They are not allowed to access information freely. The Tibetan people are not even allowed to worship freely. For more than 70 years, Tibetan monks, nuns, intellectuals, writers, poets, community leaders, activists, and many more have been detained, sent to political re-education classes, subject to torture, lengthy interrogations, and even been executed simply for exercising the freedom that you and I take for granted. There have been more than 5,000 political prisoners in Tibet the last 25 years. 5,000! Did you know that simply owning a photo of the Dalai Lama in Tibet is grounds for arrest? Even flying the Tibetan national flag could get you arrested. I say shame on the Chinese government. The Chinese dictatorship is erasing Tibetan identity and culture. The cultural genocide in Tibet is so stifling that more than 150 Tibetan people have burned themselves alive, hoping that such a horrific act of sacrifice will raise awareness and attention towards the ongoing abuses within Tibet. After learning all of this, I cannot stay silent. I stand with my Tibetan brothers and sisters, and I support their calls for freedom. The communist ideology of China has been around for only about 100 years. But Buddhist civilization, ideology and philosophy has been around for thousands of years. Only the Tibetan people should decide the future of Tibet, 100%. Tibet belongs to the Tibetan people. And I hope and believe Tibet will achieve independence. Brutal dictator of China, Xi Jinping, I have a message for you and your henchmen. I will say it again, again, and again, loud and clear. I hope you hear me. Free Tibet, free Tibet, free Tibet.